Hey, what's happening guys? Let's start talking about tubes. I'm talking vacuum tubes, not fallopian. And uh, we're going to build an amplifier, an instrument amplifier. In my case, I'll be using it for a guitar, but you know, you could use it for any instruments you wanted. And uh, probably the simplest guitar amp design is the old Fender Champ, which I believe is called the 5F1 layout. But uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, let's talk about the way tubes work. So picture this as a top-down view of our tube. And this will be our anode. This will be our cathode, although in the tube days, they were usually marked with a K. And then, we also have what is known as the grid. And we also have the uh, heating filament, because the tubes needed to be heated. So, you know, you feed a positive voltage into the anode. And then basically ground your cathode, or that would be your negative voltage. And your grid is where your input is going to come from. And what happens, we heat up the cathode, and we excite all the electrons that are there. Pardon me. And because of the vacuum we have here, and the... the uh, difference in polarity between the cathode and the anode, all those electrons want to fly to the anode. And we use the grid, which you can think of like an adjustable chain link fence. Think of a chain link fence where you can adjust the width of those openings. That's kind of what the grid is. So by applying a voltage to the grid, we can adjust how many electrons are allowed to fly from the cathode to the anode. Now, that is just a basic overview of how it's going to work. If we want to talk more in a, uh, a block diagram of how the amplifier itself would work, well, then we're going to have some different parts. We're going to have, we'll call it the power supply slash rectifier. And then we will have the preamp, then we will have our shaping controls, and finally we will have the power amp that feeds into the speaker. So, from our power supply, this is where we would be plugging into our AC. Our power supply is going to uh, bring the voltage down and rectify it into DC. And then we are going to have um, different voltages coming out. We're going to have filament wires that go to heat up our tubes and then we are going to have the power wires which I'll make dotted in this case just to differentiate ah and there's my phone one moment please that was my church calling to tell me that services are canceled until further notice kind of figured that was coming if you don't know, I'm here in Ohio, and here in Ohio we have the schools closed, restaurants and bars closed. As of today, um, hair salons, barber shops are closed. Yeah, it's getting to be a bad situation. So anyway, there is our power coming out of our power supply. Now our preamp has two stages. So our input will come into our preamp. 
and it will go to a volume control and then back to the second stage of the preamp and then out to a tone control which will then feed into the power amp which will feed into the speaker so that's the overall block diagram way the amp works now let's take a look at some specifics all right this is a schematic for like i said the fender champ which is probably just about the simplest amp you could want to build so down here we have our power supply and it is using the 5y 3gt rectifier tube a lot of uh, musicians will tell you they prefer tube rectification because you'll get a little bit of voltage sag there which kind of sweetens the tone we'll talk about that more later okay so here we have two inputs and basically uh, one is considered bright and one is considered uh, normal or it's just a little bit attenuated but uh, we're only going to be building one input because we're not going to use two inputs so going from our block diagram you can see we have a rectifier here and it is putting out the power to our 12 AX7 which is the preamp two stages so our input from the instrument comes into the first stage and then coming out of the first stage it goes to this first pot which is the uh, volume pot and then into the second stage out of the second stage it goes directly to the power amp and finally to the speaker so there's no tone control in the 5F1 circuit now we will be using a, a 12AX7 but we will not be using this 6V6 we're going to use an EL84 in ours and our uh, our circuit is going to look more like this one which is called the Fender Princeton if we if we kind of look at them side by side you can see they are very very similar with the main difference being a secondary pot where's she at okay there's our, where's our there's our first one there's our second one so right here is our first pot and there's our second pot which will be acting as a tone control so the circuits basically the same we have our input here going to the first stage out of the first stage to volume then we also have a tone going into our second stage out of there into our power amp and finally to the speaker still a pretty simple circuit now all of the parts you would need to put this together uh, tubes two tubes you need the uh, the 12 uh, a 12 ax7 the power tube some sort of uh, rectifier tube you're also going to need a power transformer which is this guy here and an output transformer you're going to need high voltage capacitors high wattage resistors all this to put together by I by myself pricing out the parts I'm looking at and that is without the speaker and the cabinet at around a hundred and ninety nine dollars okay that's if I price if I get the parts myself well it just so turns out that I don't have to get the parts myself there is a company called the tube depot here in the US that has what they call the bud guitar kit for two forty nine ninety five which is basically this amplifier but it comes with a case and a nice uh, Jensen speaker so that's what we're gonna do oh yeah and my price didn't include a metal chassis either so here is the schematic for the bud 
guitar amplifier. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same. We have a single input going into one side of the 12AX7, coming out of it, going into our volume control, then through the tone control into the second side, our second stage, second gain stage, and then into the power amp and out to the speaker. But remember I said we talk about the rectification. This is using diode rectification or solid state rectification, which in all honesty probably won't sound as good as tube-based rectification, but it's what I am going to do for this, my first build. I apologize, my phone keeps dinging. It's a... Uh, it's Barry down in Florida. Hi Barry, say hi to Elvis. Alright. So, let's talk a little bit more about the tubes. For our preamp, we will be using the 12AX7, which is a twin triode. And if we take a close look here, you can see two anodes, two two grids, two cathodes, a single filament heater. But this tube will be our preamp. And it's used in lots of uh, guitar amplifiers. You can see down here we have the pinouts, we have plate section 2, uh, grid section 2, cathode section 2 are two heaters, then plate, grid, and cathode. Plate is our anode. I, I'm, I call it the anode just because that's how I think anode cathode positive negative then we have the, the heater and you can see some of the, the specifics here but what's nice to see is this layout growing that, that tells you about uh, different coupling capacitors and resistors that you would want to place into the circuit that uh, will go along with your frequencies because when you're doing an audio amplifier you want to make sure that the frequencies you want to pass will pass and the frequencies you don't want will not pass. Finally, we have our output tube, our main power tube. This is the EL84. And we can take a look at the data sheet for it. And what you can see is different here. Is here is our, our plate or our anode. Here is our cathode, which is also connected to grid number three. Then we have grid two and grid one, and our filament heater. So we're going to use those. Two, we're going to use those tubes. We're going to use that kit I showed you. We're going to build this circuit, which is a dual gain stage preamp, single gain stage output. Um, about a 2 watt amplifier fed into a cabinet with a 8 ohm 10 inch speaker. I think it sounds like fun. I hope you guys think it sounds like fun because I am stuck in the house. I am stuck here until this whole virus crap is over. Because of my heart condition I am a prime candidate for dropping dead from this virus. Uh, thank you, Wuhan, and uh, the people that are chopping up and eating the bats over there. Good job for uh, making this world killer. Any of you guys Stephen King fans read The Stand? Could this be Captain Trips we're dealing with? I don't know. If it is, I hope The Walking Man isn't around yet. That's kind of scary. So, UPS is supposed to deliver this tomorrow. I hope they do. I'm getting bored. And if they do, hey, that's going to be our next video. We're going to put it together. Um, if we look here, you can see there is a metal chassis and a PCB. I'll put a link to this down below. The Bud Guitar Amp from TubeDepot.com. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys. Wash your hands. And the latest thing is not to sneeze into the crook of your elbow, but to pull your shirt up over your nose and mouth and sneeze in there and live in your own snot, I guess. That's it. I'm out.